everybody. Welcome to another Kill Team Battle Report. I'm back with Mike. Hey. We're playing Kill Team Salvation. Yeah. You've it's it's lucky that it seems like whenever you and I split a kill team box, it just works out that the thing that you have as an army is in it for half, and the thing I have in, as an army is in half. Yeah. So we did uh the Eldar for you. Because you've had all the Eldar kill teams at this point. Yeah, yeah. Been. And I did the Space Marines because I have all the Space Marines. Yeah, I've been waiting for Plastic Striking Scorpion since 1992 when I it's true. got my first stuff. So yeah, it's uh, that was exciting to get those. Well, I had Plastic Scouts back in the 1980s. And they yeah. had mohawks and poofy sleeves. Yeah, they did. And they were the coolest. <laughs> and I painted some last year uh, for my Flush Terrace Army, and I'm still very happy about those. But these are cool new Plastic Scouts, too. With some specialist options. Um, and then this is Kill Zone Beta Decima is the train set, which is pretty neat. Uh, it's like a big gantry system, but they come up with a neat way of making it not as open as it kind of looks mm -hmm. by having the sea spray. Having like it be like Camino in, uh, was that episode two or episode one? I think that was episode two. Yeah. The clones. That's right, because they discovered the clones on Camino. Right, right, right. And this is a big ocean planet. Um, and the MacGuffin is that the Galadark has crashed into this planet. In pieces. In pieces. There's, <laughs> there's big chunks of Galadark everywhere. Um, and there's lots of kill teams who survived the crash trying to like get all their get get all the loot they can find. And this is like a giant Mechanicus rig planet. It's all sitting in the ocean, sitting in what used to be an ocean, and the Mechanicus has been uh, extracting basically the the physical wealth from this planet for a long time, but it's all very run down. Um, and we are having sort of like a, I guess, a rush to whatever the resources are on this planet after the survivors fall. Um, your Eldar, so who knows what you're doing here? You're doing nobody, do nobody whatever, do knows. whatever Eldar do, uh, whatever the whatever the short term goals of the uh, the seers say that you need to be on this planet doing. And we're Space Marines, which means we always just show up whenever there's trouble. We jump over our land speeders, and I got to put together the new plastic scouts. Um, your kill team is definitely more interesting than mine. Yeah, it's cool. It's it's neat. I haven't uh, gotten to like deep dive through the rules on it yet. I'm yeah. gonna kind of figure it out as I go. But uh, the main thrust is that you have three actual kill teams. Like what yeah. comes in the box is only a third of what your options are. Yeah, you get ten of them, so you can just play them all as a kill team. You can just do all striking scorpions. But all the stuff you already had painted. You yep. also got to use. Yeah, I got. I'm I'm bringing back my Dire Avengers from Shadow War Armageddon. Yeah, you are. Uh, <laughs> I rebased them on 28s, but uh, and I've had Howling Banshees for a while. So mm -hmm. the fact that I get to mix in those three, it's going to make tournament rosters really cool for this one. And like any of the Aspect Warrior um, Exarchs can be your leader, yeah. and that kind of unlocks more potential from whatever the dominant aspect is too, yeah. which is kind of cool. So you get your you get your like choice of ranged fighters, kind of shock troop melee fighters, and then like more guerrilla specialists in the form of the striking scorpions, who are horrifying. By the way, the Mana Blaster ability is neat, horrifying. Yeah. Other kill teams are going to have a big problem with just taking mortal wounds for standing next to a guy. Just, it's not going to be great. Just get wounded. Yeah. Yep. yep. Yeah. Just finish a guy off with your mana blasters. Um, so we're going to start a spec ops campaign. We are not going to do the beta decima uh, map based campaign in the book though, because it requires at least three players. And because you need to kind of have a week in between a week of movement in between, get enough people together in the studio. It doesn't really make sense to do it, but this is a great campaign for like a store or a gaming club or when a large group of like three to six people can get together and play a bunch of games in a row. But because of the way the map works, it isn't really conducive to like what we usually do, which we hang out for a day and play like two, three games. So we're going to just play the Spec Ops games in the book um, and run through some like linked narrative style play. Uh, I'm using the scouts and you're using your aspect where your kill team, I guess is what it's called. Blades of Cain. Blades of Cain. That's right. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I knew they had a fancy name. Yeah. My fancy name is scout squad. Yeah. <laughs> you got, like, pretty fancy. <laughs> <laughs> I was surprised. When it was just aspect where it was, no, it's, it's blades of Cain. Mine is scout squad, which is not very fancy. Um, and our special our, like requisition is also not that exciting. Whereas other kill teams can like recruit cool new guys and you can bring other people into the fold. Ours is we can recruit guys for other kill teams. So if we level up enough, we can requisition to have one of our scouts sent to another kill team with starting experience. So like right. you can become like an intercessor and you get like the, the basic level of experience that you would have as an intercessor at that level. So if I ran three kill teams of like, intercessors and phobos and scouts 
the scouts could be like the farm league for the other ones and I wouldn't have to spend their RP on requisitioning uh, and I could just send scouts up to join their ranks instead. It's not super thrilling. <laughs> <laughs> you graduated off my team. Yeah, it's not super thrilling. Um, but they're neat in that they're one of the only space marine ones that aren't three APL. The sergeant has three APL. He can look at them and give them additional APL. And you can spend command points to kind of do space marine things. But you have a nine person team. Like I actually outnumber you, which is going to be weird for Space Marines against any other faction in this game. Yeah, yeah. I was, I'm like, oh, Dire Avengers get no penalty on Overwatch. Well, that might actually become relevant. Uh, actually, I think it will become relevant. Yeah. yeah. All right, so we're going to fire up one dash one as if we were in the 1980s, staying in an arcade, and we were about to give Mario all of our money, uh, and we'll share our kill teams. And we'll get this underway. All right, so we're going to read the mission. Uh, much of the myriad machinery that make up a rig apparatus can be salvaged from the structure by a kill team who can repurpose the materials for their own ends or trade them for much needed supplies. This is 1-1 one -one using the uh, Beta Decima kill team terrain pack uh, and is our critical mission for our first Spec Ops game. We're gonna play through 1-1, one 1-2, -one, one and 1-3. One um, so this is real simple. It's got loot. This is our map setup. There are one, two, three, four, five sets of rig apparatus on the map. Um, and they are set up uh, in such a way that they're across the middle of the board. Our kill zone deployments are here and here. And if you um, are controlling at the end of a round, you can spend an AP, or at the end of a turn, sorry, activation, sorry, not even turn. Um, you can spend an AP to loot it, and you get a VP for each one you lo uh, loot during each turning point. Now, interesting things about this terrain, um, you cannot draw a line of fire over more than two inches, so in this case it's white. Um, of the uh, inhospitable terrain. So this is the, the, the hostile ground. All the water features basically have steam and monsters and stuff rising from them if you are on the same battlefield floor position. So if I'm standing here, there's another standing here, and it's more than two inches in this case, which is white, to go through it to see that model, it's obscured, which means no line of sight even if it's engaging. If I'm drawing line of sight from a vantage point that goes through a gantry um, that I'm not standing on, so from here down through here onto here, it's also obscured. You can't see under the shadows of the gantries. Uh, you're not obscured both standing on vantage points. You're basically just in the open. And that means that while this table does look kind of open, there's kind of like invisible 3D terrain everywhere. Uh, you can also, for the cost of, I believe, minus one, like it's like a hurdle or a traverse almost, you can jump a gap up to two wide. So you can jump these by costing yourself two inches basically to make a jump. Um, and then if you wish to climb any of these surfaces, all you have to do is be within um, triangle, which means one inch, uh, any distance vertically and horizontally of the platforms themselves. You don't have to be next to one of these footprint or one of these feet basically to climb it. You can climb it from anywhere because the idea is that you're just launching yourself over it. You can also measure through, so if you happen to be underneath one for whatever reason, so if you're standing here and you're underneath this, you can measure through the platforms themselves when you go through, because the idea is that like, you launch yourself over top one or kind of like parkour up. Now, all right, so here is not your whole roster, but basically what you brought painted today for your kill team. Yeah, this is enough to get a game in here. So I've got uh, the thread cutters. Had some fun on the random chart for rolling up their names here. <laughs> uh, so I have got a Striking Scorpion Exarch uh, with a claw, uh, shirking pistol, and the sword, which it gives them some nice melee bite. And then I went for two Scorpions, three Banshees, and two Dire Avengers. And that gives me access to uh, three different... Um, what I call Tech Ops, the Seek and Destroy, Infiltration, and Recon that I can choose from. Mm -hmm. um, gives me lots of melee punch and a couple of ranged dudes to hang out and hopefully shoot scouts. And this is the body of the kill team, so eight models. But realistically speaking, there's no reason not to have all three Exarchs in your roster, as well as, uh, I guess, what's all three Exarchs, and then you could have six, no, five, five of one, six of another, or the rest of the, the yeah. kill team members. Or, or you could, because there's a bonus for how. There might be a situation in which you wish you had all scorpions. So yeah. you might say, I'm never going to use more than two or three Dire Avengers. Right. I'll do all scorpions, all banshees, have those options available. Yeah, but for the purpose of like painted models, you just need to have at least three to four of each of the Aspect Warriors painted and all three Exarchs, and you're yeah. basically good to go. Yeah. And then you paint yourself some little MacGuffins. If you control an objective or have something you want to put down, you got your little your little Aspect stands there. And this is the one that comes in the scorpions, the new scorpion one, and then you got the one that comes in the banshees. And the old Exarch, it's funny because you're... You, like you said, Shadow Armageddon. Yeah. 
the uh, the one for the dark is probably long gone. I, 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 might <laughs> I can't find, find it anywhere. Yeah. yeah, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so there it is. You're starting uh, both mustard kill team and roster for your um, aspect razor blades of cane. And here's my muster for my ultramarine scout squad. Um, so we've first of all got my sergeant here in the middle. Now you can also equip him with a, a sturdy shotgun or a bolter, but I went for the bolt pistol combat weapon. Um, it probably in hindsight would have been wiser to give him a gun because you don't want to risk him very much. His whole thing is to give out APL to another member of the team. He doesn't want to get stuck in and killed right away. And he's your only other three APL model. So he's really good at contesting objectives. Specialist wise, I have my sniper, my hunter, and my tracker, which are the three specialty types for the team. Uh, the sniper obviously has a sniper rifle. The tracker has a auspex and is able to, you know, make other kill team members see concealed models within red, so within six inches. And the hunter, probably most interesting of all, has a grapnel launcher. He's got his like bat grapple. Uh, the, when he performs, a, he uses it for one AP. Performs a free charge action. Uh, if during that action they drop, climb, or jump, uh, traverses or its base moves under a vantage point, its melee weapons get lethal three plus. So all of its hits are lethal hits, which is bananas because his combat blade does five damage. So he goes to just like, hey, I do twenty damage to you if I charge you on threes. <laughs> it's, it's very good. Um, and then my two heavy gunners. Now, interestingly, in the kill team profile, they they have separate tracks. So there's Kill Team Gunner with Heavy Bolter and Kill Team Gunner with Missile Launcher, meaning you can have both of them in your team if you want to. Um, and so I built both. And then finally, four Warriors. I did a Shotgun, a Bolter, and two Close Combat guys, as I think I'm building this team to be... They've got lots of shooting support, so I feel like the Warriors should probably be spread into the Pistol and Close Combat weapon group. So there it is. That's my first 10 models painted, because that's it's, it's what came in the box. Um, but doubling down, I would probably... The only things I can have more than one of would be the... Um, the guys with the bolters and the um, combat weapons and shotguns. So I'd probably just do an extra each of a bolter and a shotgun. That way I've got two of each one overall. Moving over the determining um, a kill zone edge, but doesn't super matter because they're symmetrical. I choose to stand on this side. Um, and then you will get to uh, muster kill team, I'll muster kill team, and then we select our tack ops. All right, so my tack ops deck is built. So flipping my first two, I'm gonna take this one. Second two. I'm gonna pick this one. And third ones, I'm gonna pick this one. Barricades. Feels like a spot that could use It does cover. feel like a spot. Uh, I'm gonna put one right meow. And put one up here. That's fair. Uh, I'm gonna be extra not creative. And put one over here. Deployment with uh, the Eldar going first. Deployed. Uh, I have an engaging heavy bolter, a climbing gear concealed warrior, a um, hunter with an extra blade concealed, my boss the frag grenade who is engaging, my concealed sniper, my uh, engaging climbing gear space shotgun man, and my tracker and missile launcher both engaging and I have a targeting oracular on the, um, the missile launcher. There's a bipod on him, but there's no token for the bipod. It's like really one of the only things that doesn't seem to have one. We got Team Eldar over here. Team Eldar, we are we are largely concealed. I did engage with the two Dire Avengers. Uh, we've got a Wraithbone Talisman for a reroll on this fella. We've got a Plasma Grenade on the Exarch. We've got a uh, Smoke Bomb over here, which has a much cooler name in Eldar, but uh, <laughs> Shadow Wave Grenade. Shadow Wave Grenade, sweet. Yeah. Um, and, and only engaging models of the Dire Avengers, everybody else is concealed this turn. Yep. Yeah. Deploying, so I can do my scout abilities, uh, like devastate targets, devise plans to just gain a CP. So I'm definitely gonna devise a plan for one of my five actions here and start with three CPs, because that's pretty cool. Uh, then I'm gonna start placing some booby traps. They have to be placed six outside of your uh, drop zone. Uh, if you perform a chart, sorry, you roll a D6 if you're nearby one, if, or if you move within uh, white of one, and you add one to the result if you did a charge or dash action this turn. On a one to three, nothing happens. On a four plus, you take that many mortal wounds, whatever the dice roll is. So placing two triple arms here and here, if you end within white of them, you count as engaging instead of, um, uh, whatchamacallit, concealed until the end of the turn. And then my final one, I'm just gonna do a diversion. I'm gonna go, yo, what's that? Pocket sand, and make your Exarch minus one APL for the first turn. Scouting phase now, which means we just get to place our, um, Either for one dice, place a barricade. For two dice, uh, change the order of a person during the course of the turn. So you can go to con from conceal to uh, engage or vice versa. And for three, you get to perform a dash action uh, and then they trump in that order. So one, two, and three. So you get to reveal how many dice you put in your hand. Yeah. 
No. No. All right, so you got two, which trumps three, which means you're making a free, or you're making a change order, I'm making a dash. Uh, and then we resolve those, and you're gonna have initiative for round one of two CPs. And as you, I think the defender performs theirs first. Do anything yet because you don't have to, and I'm gonna perform a dash action. I think with, so because I have a grapnel launcher, I'm just gonna make a dash with this guy and it only costs me two. And because my dash limits me to only one, or sorry, uh, to a blue of movement, I move a blue going this way. So I have three white as my movement. It costs me one because of the grapnel launcher to go up to that, up to three in height. And then I can start the measurement from anywhere so I can dash up the side of this thing as long as I have a grapnel launcher. All right, we're gonna activate this fella here. He is going to become one with the gloom, which Ooh. means that he always counts as having a conceal order regardless of anything else that happens, so even gets, if you're on a vantage point. So he gets an aspect um, token because he's done an aspect power now this turn. Yeah, so I'll give him, put that with him. And he's gonna do a move, which is one, two, three to there. And he can just dash up into this cover here real nice. And then he has a third APL. He has a third APL. Because the Aspergores are basically space brains, which is great. Yeah, yeah. Three APL is fantastic. In this particular case, it doesn't do him a whole lot of good, though. Okay, so he's just going to hunker down. Yeah, he's got, uh, he could shoot one of these objectives. And so he flips his token. And he's done. Oh, where'd he go? There it is. And it's still concealed. So starting with these guys, uh, we're going to go with the sniper, who is able to start his climb, because he's within one of this. Um, and go white followed by white followed by white to here. He can make a dash if he wants, and he's going to dash by making a jump. Roll. Sure does. Yeah, back to me. Hey, this Dire Avenger, uh, he'll do a move action. Jump up to here. Around a corner, which he can shoot that guy. I come around the table. Yeah, you can. Yeah, yeah. Yep, my hunter. My yeah, why not? Hunter. Go for it. And I suppose. I think neither of us needed to do any strategic plays during the first turn because we're mostly just invisible to each other, so we didn't. Uh, let's shoot him. I'm not going to use anything right now. So I get four dice on threes, three, four rending. Okay. Uh, that's one crit. That's, Triggers rending. That's we'll hit, so. so you can't actually use your, your yeah. rending there. So then I get to my three defense rolls, and I pass pass, uh, but one's a critical, so I cancel your critical. Yep. And no bullets damage me. No bullets. Last AP? Yeah, we'll just dash and hide. Oh. Down we go. That's me. Uh, I'm going to activate this heavy bolter man, uh, and he is going to move. He is going to move his three white to here, and then he's gonna dash into cover. Being a heavy bolter man. Pop up. Yeah, we'll do another pop up. Uh, this guy's gonna pop up to the edge. Yeah, where can okay, I get so it? So you can jump back down. You can still see me. Yeah, you're fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just making sure I got the angle on him. And, but this time, better. But this time, with successes. This time, with shots. Better. Four shots, rending. Hi, top. There you go. So one of those hits becomes a crit. Yeah, so hit becomes a, a rending. crit. And you got two crits and a hit. Yeah. And then I get to take my three better. saves, and I get a crit. And then I'm gonna spend a command point to reroll one of these. Oh, jeez, don't take that. Uh, and that means I will cancel all but one crit. So how much is critical damage? Uh, I think they're three, four. Uh oh, basically a bolter. So my hunter who has 10 wounds has seven remaining, which is not what we want, but that's okay. Spend a command point. Dash away, because you have three AP. Ha. Still change someone's order, but you can't at least shoot me again, because they just have pistols, which means it's time for Johnny Shotgun to get his shotgun on. Uh, or do we give Johnny Shot, no, let's give this to Bolterman. Uh, and Bolterman is going to do what Bolters can, and he is going to go his this plus a dash and go hide over here. To you. Well, I think I will challenge your assertion that pistols can't be any value here. Uh, I said no value, I, just, I don't think in the first turn they're gonna be able to shoot me. <laughs> you could move to plus dash plus shoot me, that's true. Yeah, yeah. If I move up to there, is that quite close enough? Within well, circle, no, not quite. Not quite, so I'll have to gotta, dash as well. Gotta jump to the other side. Yeah. Let's see. Do it. Do it. Who all is over there? Yeah, whatever. Let's find out how it's gonna go. Let's do that. So we'll hop over here. We're still concealed. 
Or no, I can't do that because I'm concealed. What am I doing? I mean, you could change it during your order. You got uh, your one change I you can make. I have my one change I could make. That just leaves him very exposed. That is, that is true. Uh, what do you got? You got a missile launcher who doesn't do anything. I'll get bolt pistol once. Yeah, worth it. I'm doing it. Okay, it's changing his order to engage. This is your run for the round. And he comes to the other side of this. Yeah. And then I think, I think there's actually a thing for this. Do it. All the way back around here. Okay. And I'm going to use the aspect power. The aspect power scorpion's eye. Yeah, you are. Uh, so he's going to use that, and his pistols are indirect, but has to shoot somebody who's in cover. Got it. Four shots again, or three? Four shots again, three plus, three, four damage, and rending. Do it. Hi, uh, Two hits. Three hits. No crit, though, so no, no crit. And one automatically, and then I pass two more times. So well no damage. Done. Was your third APL? Yeah, it was. So he's done. Let's run away like champions. All right, so let's go with I think the boss, and he is going to use his teacher's eye to give plus one APL with his sage advice and wisdom to one of these guys. He's gonna look at this guy and be like, "Hey, you, do better." He's gonna start moving. Uh, he doesn't have any climbing gear or anything like that, so it's gonna cost him two to go up. Uh, he starts within one of it, and then he'll get to go two over to here. Mm, he's going to go this way. And then he has a dash available to him, but it won't clear the edge. So I think he's just going to move to the edge and stuff. It's you. Yeah. If I go one, I could jump. You could. On two plus. And not die. One, two, three, four, five. I could dash to there, be within one, and hit the button. I guess buttons are a thing in this level. They are a thing, because uh, you'll have more APL then. Actually, you have more APL right now, so you still control it, because I'm only two APL. Yeah, okay. So she's gonna try that. She'll go this far, and she'll try to jump, and if that fails, then she gets stuck where she's at for that action, but hey. Don't fall in the water. She sure don't. Doesn't fall in the water. So we'll do her second two, Third to her dash, right up behind this feller. Let's go over there. Yeah. Stay within one, whoops. Yeah. Swords are inconvenient, but yeah. we know where they are. And you're definitely within one. Or VP. All right, so then it's over to me. Uh, and I was going to have this guy do that, <laughs> but you did it before I could. So now I think we just kill you. No, I can't do that either. Um, let's go with this jabroni. Uh, he is going to do his big old swing. Uh, he's going to start by moving. Uh, and he'll move his six to here. Then he'll make a dash up to here. And his climbing gear, he counts all his climbs as one. And he's done. Clear my mind. Sorry? You're trying to clear my mind? <laughs> mind clearing operation. I love this. Uh, Dying race, what do you do? Go sit on that with your face, please. <laughs> Did you go defuse this thing by laying on it? With your citizen army? Well, with this ability uh, that's this going is... to make this okay. Oh, I mean, I, I don't know that she's going to be okay. Um, she's she's going to feel a little pinch. She's going she's gonna to feel a little pinch. That's right. But uh, she's going to... Um... This lady. Okay. Uh, she is going to make a dash action to climb up to here. A dash action? Dash action. And then she's going to use the Banshee ability to fly for an activation and do a normal move that will get her up on top of this doodad. I've got this much. You forgot my bomb was there. It got nudged. Yeah, yeah. So we'll go up there. But we do control it with her, and we can do a hit the button action. So roll your, oh, you're, so you use your banshee ability to fly. So you, have to auto, you auto pass your jump because it's three yeah. over and two up. Yeah. And then she can, uh, you can you can bomb her. Okay. So I get plus one to the roll because you are making no, a dash I'm, action this turn. Yep. So plus one, uh, three, take nothing. And then you push the button. Yep. So that was move plus dash with your banshee ability. And you've got, I've got two APL and you've got three. So you do control it, yep. which means you can score it. Uh, I guess what we do now is we go with this little fella. Um, he's going to move plus dash with his climbing gear. 
So a move is going to be, I'm gonna make a, I think I'm gonna move this way. So I'm gonna, I can start my climb from any distance. So I'm gonna go uh, two, four, six, and a dash, which not, would not get me in range. If I go one and then jump that distance and one, I'll end up there and then two more and then a dash. Yeah, this being in the way is being inconvenient. <laughs> other option is I can just start my move plus dash from here and just go straight up to here, but I still won't make it either way, I don't think, because it's gonna count me as two inches of movement to go up and I'll just go six. Three AP, and it would get me up here and take it, but you've already pushed this one this turn, so now I can't do it. <laughs> I guess we just make ourselves feel better by going and making a dash. Not a lot I can do here, so I'm just gonna make a run. Move plus dash to here, and my extra AP is super wasted. It's you. Back to me. You still got a missile launcher your friend over I there. I do, but I can't see of... anything because yeah. of the water. I... <laughs> There's way less line of sight than you would think. I would like to keep you not seeing things. That's totally fair. First one, add it to four, six, dash. You know what? I'll just do the extra. Dash and cover, yeah. Because yeah, you only gonna... have two AP anyway, because I minus one AP'd you. You did. All right, Dr. Shotgun, you're gonna go. Uh, this is rounded up to being two, so you're gonna ignore the first two. You'll ignore one more for three, so this climb only counts as, it's, and I pass my jumps automatically. Um, this climb, because I start within one of this thing, counts if I move plus dash, I can go a total of nine, seven horizontally, which does not quite get me where I wanna be. So I think we just go our four for our first one. And then we dash to here and wait next to the boss. You got one Banshee left. I got one Banshee left. Uh, I don't think she's doing anything too fancy here. She's yeah, all I've got left is my missile launcher and you got one single Banshee. Yeah, and he's heavy so he can't fire if he moves or is that? Uh, he's heavy. Go to the words the not missile launcher side. Yeah, that tracks. Yeah, let's. You are concealed, which is nice. Yeah, I am concealed. Um, but I think I need to get some verticality out of her. So where did I put my? Oh, well, oh, there it is. So she's gonna spend one white to go up. Have one, two left. Don't put you there. Don't put her over to there. And then I think she'll dash to the corner. Dash to the corner. Smart. Leaves me with not tons to do, so I think Dr. Mr. the Missile Launcher is going to go uh, his four to the edge here, and then just dash to climb. I believe that's turn one. Good uh, round. You've scored two this round, I've scored zero. We both gain a CP, going into round two, and it's initiative. Who gets the knife? I got a five. I got a six. And you still have the initiative. I still have. Strategic phase, would you like to use any strategic ploys? Oh yeah, yeah, those, those are things. Ruthless poise, that costs you CP, what does that do? It costs do? me one CP, and until the end of the turning point, each time an active, friendly Blades of Cain operative fights in combat against an enemy operative that is ready, in the roll attack dice step of that combat, I can reroll one attack die. Cool, I'm gonna use Blade Ambush for much the same reason. Until the end of the turning point, each time a friendly scout squad operative fights in combat, in an activation in which it was order was changed from concealed to engage, you can reroll any dice results of a single type. So if I roll all twos, I can reroll the twos, et cetera, et cetera. Really balanced, but if I get more than one of the same dice roll results, I can reroll more than one of them. Reveal any tack ops? Um... Oh, I had to reveal one at the end of the first turning point. Okay. Uh, this is sudden strike. If more enemy operatives than friendly operatives are incapacitated during the turn, I score one. Uh, if more operatives and then later on in the second turning point, I get one. Anybody who counts as tw has 12 or more wins counts as two models in this. And then I'm also going to reveal uh, from all angles, if three or more scout squad operatives inflict damage on enemy models in the same turning point, and they're wholly within three different table quarters, when they do so, they score a VP. So then it's over to you. Yeah. Uh, who, who wants to die first? <laughs> There's a problem. You gotta flip all your dudes and then, oh yeah. yeah. And everybody... you can take, well, you can take these off too, because you didn't use your abilities yet. Oh yes. And if she flies, she's not within nine inches of him, so she can't make that charge. Nobody can. So that's bad for me. Sure is. Sure is. <laughs> so I think what I'll do is activate the Exarch and get him out of that particular problem. That's fair. Uh, and to do that, I am going to, um, I think we'll just start with the charge. But he can use these abilities too. An engage order. Yeah. 
and he's going to do a charge. He'll lose one for going over the thingy there. One, two, three still gets him to this guy, though, with the boost. I'm going to fight my poor tracker. I'm going to fight your poor tracker. Okay, well, he's going to die, probably. He's probably... So, so it's uh, a charge, now it's a combat. Go ahead and take two damage. Oh, that's right, uh, yeah, because your Manda Blasters <laughs> just stabbed me. Because Manda Blasters I have eight wounds that. left then, yep. Manda Blasters are bullshit. Yeah, we've, we've accomplished this. <laughs> so I got eight wounds left on that guy. Yeah. Attacks on two, dealing four, six, you said. Oh, sorry, and they are... <laughs> brutal? <laughs> brutal and lethal five plus. So I can only parry them with crits. Tremendous. Which is... I got four attacks, or no, three attacks with my fists, I think. Yeah, three on three is three, four damage. Imagine you'll be fine, though. I'll be fine. None of crits. Uh, uh, I don't have to re-roll any of those. Because hit on twos? He hits on twos. So no crits, but you got five hits. Yeah. Uh, okay. Actually, two crits because it's lethal, it's lethal five, five plus. plus. Oh, that's right. Okay, yeah. And brutal. I got a crit and then nothing. Yeah. So go ahead and hit me. I think I, I, think I will. Um, so you take um, six on a crit. Cool. Uh, I am oh, wait. Down sorry, you got one crit? Yeah. Uh, I'll parry that. Cool. Yeah, yes, that's, that's easy. That's, that's I, start, I start by parrying, obviously. Yeah. Then I do six. All the remaining damage. 10, 50 damage. Yeah, I die. Tracker. Later, tracker. Uh, then I will use a strike and fade ability, I think. Okay. Uh, I can change him to conceal, uh, and I can... So you're not going to just take the victory point. <laughs> uh... Sorry? Now I can just take the victory point. Oh, you're doing this as a not as an action. This is just as a Yeah, this is this is just a, a free thing that he gets to do. So he gets to use his scorpion ability to go back into conceal? Yeah, and and move a couple. He gets a dash out of this yeah, too? Yeah, he gets a dash out of it and a conceal. For Even free. when he charged, wow. Yeah, yeah. Thing that doesn't let him do a dash. That lets him a do dash. a dash. Just turn it aside if I Because I could still I could still shoot you, but I think I'll just move or you can back move the button. To, yeah, I'll dash back to there, switch back to a conceal, and I'll boop the button, and we'll call that. Uh, I think that's him done. Sweet. Rocket to the chest. He did. We did catch. We did catch some damage there. Uh, okay. Well, then it's over to me, I believe. Oh, with my heavy gunner, with his bipod, um, and he is going to use a tactical ploy called being a space marine. It's called a Stardust training. Um, use this during a friendly scout squad operative's activation. Until the end of its uh, activation, they can do either two fight or shoot actions. As long as they have a Astartes shotgun, bull pistol, heavy bolt pistol, I uh, select this for one of these attacks. So his heavy bolter gets to shoot twice. I'm gonna start by blasting that guy. Across my base, to your base. Yep. Mike's gonna get all war machine on me. Look at me go. Yeah. Lasers. Yeah. Yeah, you got it. Okay. <laughs> Five shots on threes. My bipod allows me to reroll uh, any one type of dice result because I didn't move. So I can reroll all the ones or all the twos if oh, I want cool. to. Uh, and it's fuse odd, so I could spread these around, but I'm not gonna. I'm just gonna shoot you in the face. Uh, I will reroll, I guess, the twos. Take a crit and four hits. I don't think I can. Uh, also, piercing one, so you only get two defense dice. Yeah. Defense dice. I tap. Uh, two saves. Two Sweet. saves. So yeah, I get two hits and a crit in damage. Yeah, that's that will be a total of more than eight. Thirteen. Yeah. Yeah. No. I think I'd kill you in one go, but this guy is engaging. Last yeah. him then. Uh, you are in heavy. You're in cover, so you're gonna get one success here automatically. Bang. Uh, I got two crits, and it's piercing one, so you could retain a success if you want, and then roll one dice, or you could fish for crits. Even if I just get hits, I think you die. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't think there's a, a point in any of no. that. Okay, so you take 10... 53? Sorry, 10 plus 8, so 18. It explodes. Yep. And then it's back to you. So, let's do a... Actually, let's do this guy. He's going he's gonna to throw a... Um, I think it's an action to throw the thing. Throw a grenade? I think it's only range red though. Drop yeah. your little little smoke grenade down as yeah. an action? Uh, that's what I'm checking. Uh, yes, so that is an so action. one AP, infinite height, and yeah. now you've got blocked line of sight basically where you kind of obscured? Yeah. 
Okay. Exactly. So you can always count as concealed, regardless yeah. of whether or not you go to one of my trip mines? Yep. Yep. Uh, and then I'll just move. Does it have to be all the way through this thing? And in the smoke grenade, then you'd be. Yeah. Then I. Then you are obscured. Okay. You're obscured. Yeah. So he can go stand here. Be within white of the token that he's standing on. Be fully obscured, and also shoot that guy with a pistol. So you can shoot through it too. It was both ways, so you wouldn't be able to shoot through your own smoke. Okay. Yeah. Well, that'll. That'll have to be what he does, I think. Okay. Like an AP? Yep, and he's got one more left, but there's not a whole lot else that he can do, yeah. Okay. Um, so I'm going to go over here, I think. Yes. Yes. I'm going to go with my, s no, I'm gonna go with this guy. <laughs> I'm just gonna charge you. I'm gonna flip to engage, because then I get my special reroll dice. Uh, I'm going to make a charge move and do it over here. So I'll charge around this way and I will stab you with my knife. Being an advantage mask, uh, I can reroll because of my knife ambush. Uh, I can reroll any one type of dice and also I'm balanced. Uh, if the target isn't ready, then I'd also get rending, but you're ready, so you're fine. Yeah. Banshee move. Yeah. What's your cool banshee move? Uh, it's at the start of the resolve hit step, so okay. I get to see. My dice first are. I'll reroll all the ones. <laughs> so I get two hits. Oh, sorry. I get three crits because the way I work when I come. Oh, no, I didn't do. Oh, no, I did a traversal because I walked over this thing. Yeah. So I get three. I, I jump up from behind the thing, and because I came out of conceal, I get the. Every hit's a crit. Every hit's a crit. Oh, good. Okay. Um, Sorry, I get lethal three plus. Does your mask you stop my lethal yeah, three plus? Yeah, it still has to be a hit. Okay, got it. Lethal still has to be a hit. So I got three normal hits. Those are all crits. They're all crits, yeah. Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> this is five. So you could just do some damage to me back. I only have six points left. Yeah. Two. I couldn't have rolled a five for a lethal there. Jeez. Um, I think you I can need CP to use, it. Yeah, CP I think I need to CP because I need a five here. Okay, CP the two. Yep. Get a five. Hey. Hey, there you go. So that'll kill me yeah. if I don't parry it. So I'll parry the crit. Yeah. Um, so I go first because I charged. Yeah, but that's that's where this ability comes in. I need uh, crits to carry parry your crits, and you're brutal, you need, right? Yeah. And all no, these are crits. Yeah, I know they're they're all crits, but I've got a thing where I can parry before you do a thing. Okay. So I'm trying to decide if it makes sense. No, because then you just hit me twice, and I die anyway. There's nothing I can do to, because I can't stop you from. If you use your crit to parry my crit, then yeah. I just hit you. You do some damage to me, and I hit you again. Yeah. So either way, I die here. Yeah. If you, if I parry your crit, it ends up being the same way. Yeah. If I get one e hit, in, way, I'm gonna get one hit in and then die. That's it. Yeah. Okay. So I guess that is the resolution there. So you take um, ten damage, and I take how much from one of your hits? You take four. Okay. I have two left, and that guy dies. One more model to inflict damage during this turning point to be able to, to do this. As you mentioned, you, were have, you had um, Robin Ransack. Yep. When your guy, your Exarch came out and killed me, that dash gave you the head token. Avenger, he's gonna do a move action. He's gonna use an Avenger ability that will let him shoot two, car two targets that are within a white of each other. Uh, and he's gonna start with your sergeant. Go for it. Each basically. of them each of them once, basically. Each of them once, yep. Okay. Uh, and we'll shoot the sergeant. hi -ta. Uh That is three, three hits. hits. All right, so my save's on fours. I save two, so I take one. How much is that? Take four. Okay, that's right. Uh, so Sarge has a little extra health. He has 11, so he's gonna go to eight. Um, has to be within bl white, yeah, right? Yeah, within white, so. So it'll be my shotgunner? Yeah, shotgun. Okay. Take this, shotgun. Two. Uh, so that I get to turn that into a crit because, oh no, it's not lethal. Never no. Mind. So two regular two hits. hits. Uh, pass one, fail one. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna CP that. How much damage is it, three? Three. I have a lot of health. Yeah, I'll just take it, down to seven. Maybe. Roll dash over to here. Tabba tabba. Let's go with my Sarge. Uh, he's gonna look at my sniper and give him plus one AP. 
Then he is going to do a move, as you do, uh, and he's going to make a jump. So he's going to move plus dash, and he has three APL, and he's going to push the top button. So he's going to do his uh, move over to here. So he can't it's a two plus. People. So he'll move gonna, around yeah, then. Yeah, yeah. Here. So that's, yeah that's his <laughs> And then do move. his dash plus to jump. Yeah, fails, so he just stays where he is. Okay. Oh. It's his last AP, and he's done. Back to you. Didn't, didn't get to push the middle button because didn't of Banshee. Yeah, she's going to do a charge on this fella. Oh, that makes sense. And a heavy B. Yeah, so she's switching to an engage order. I'm minus one for your Banshee mass, so I take... Oh, I don't take any damage because this is no, a scorpion. No, yeah, yeah, that's, that's not her. It's that's just, uh, just a plain old stab. Just that's where she, her momentum can keep going and she can yeah. like double charge, but you didn't have enough movement left. Didn't to have enough matter. left, yeah. Not enough Banshee left. So let's just kill this dude, hopefully. Okay, I got three attacks. Three, four. Uh, so four attacks on threes. Sure do. Lethal five. Uh, I hit with all of them, but no lethals. So you got a crit and two hits. Crit and two hits. I think I'm going to reroll the one. Because otherwise you're just going to live like a jerk. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, you're piercing on your power sword? Uh, oh, got it. Well, I guess I start. I do six, and then you could parry one. And, and then I parry a hit. Yeah. And then I do four more, and I kill you. That's right. Because you're 10, right? Oh, that's right, yeah. So yeah. you might so as I well just, do... I'll, I'll punch you instead. I'll yeah, you three. might as well do Yeah, whatever. take three and then I die. I like that we were... <laughs> we just do the math, basically, right? So Heavy B's dead, and, and he punches you. Okay. Charge, fight, and then push the button. Yeah, goes okay. up to five, gains two XP. I'm going to go with my sniper. Uh, my sniper is going to dash to here. Caping in hiding. And then because I have silent, I'm going to fire my sniper rifle over here. Push the button first, and then I'm going to do that. <laughs> right. uh, so shoot my sniper rifle at you. I am silent, so I'm able to do that even though I'm in hiding. Uh, and then I have sniper rifle. It's four shots, two plus, three, three. And then it's mortal wounds, three, if I get any crits. On sniper rifle. Uh, take four hits. Four hits. I don't want to. I'm going to block most of them. Uh, one of them. Take nine damage. Okay. Uh, that is more than enough. Again. Boom headshot. The Dark Avengers. Yeah. He's now activated. And that AP's gone. Here. I'll spend this AP to get two shoot actions out of this guy this round. Just, just, A CP, you uh, mean, yeah, for uh, the double shoots? Yeah. yeah okay. For the double shoots. Uh, is there an Avenger ability that I want to use on him? Actually, have one that's super relevant at the moment, so I'm going to like use any of your adventure abilities. Yeah, not using an Avenger ability right now, but we're gonna shoot this sucker. That tracks. Yep, um, <laughs> he's been annoying for you. He has been annoying for me. He has two health left too, so if you hit him yeah. with the first one, he'll just die. Yes, get him. High tap. Uh, uh, crit and two hits. So two crits and a hit because of rending. That's right. So I'm going to just fish for crits, I guess, instead of taking a success, because I'll die for any of these. No, I just died. Hunter, you didn't hurt nobody. Poor little Hunter, didn't hurt nobody. And then uh, who else can shoot? And then I guess I will shoot the guy who hasn't activated yet. That tracks Mr. Stabber. I yeah, wounded. It's just shotgun in his wound. Damage in on him. Go for it. Oh uh, my god. That's just four crits. Just four crits? Just no four big deal, crits. just four crits. Ain't nothing. Uh, I think I'm dead, unless I roll three crits. I can cancel one crit. Yeah. And then how much does that? Uh, 12. I'm taking 12 still? Yeah. So I can CP for a six to try and not die here. Or I just die. <laughs> ah, I take two crits. How much is that? Uh, two crits is only eight. I lived. Because I can cancel two with one. Uh, I can use two to cancel two. And then my CP reroll allows me to have one left. I am super messed up. Done. I can't believe I'm alive. <laughs> well, I'm going to spend my last CP for the round for... Thank God I made from Space Marine. Uh, this one is called Raw Physiology. Uh, use this tactical ploy during your friendly scout squad's next activation. Until the start of your next activation, the operative isn't injured, and you can ignore any or all modifiers to its APL. So even though I'm super injured, I'm not injured. It means I can make my move over to here. I'm going to stay concealed. I'm going to boop this button. Ew. Uh, well, I guess I will overwatch with him on that guy. On Shotgun Man? Yeah, because I can see him. Sure can. Minus one hits, you're on fours now. Uh, nope, because I'm a dire Avenger. Oh, that's right, you don't ignore the, the penalties for Overwatch, that's right. Uh, uh, still. So just, just a crit. <laughs> just, just a crit, and then... Or no, just a hit. Just Sorry, a hit, because you're not, not lethal. lethal right oh, well, that means you only did three crits last time with him. 
No, it was rending. Oh, it was so, rending that yeah, did that. That's right. If you roll it, a natural yeah. crit. Yeah. Okay. So then I pass once with the crit and cancel an Overwatch token, which means he can't do it again. Uh, so Dr. Shotgun's going to finally get in the war. Uh, he's going to auto pass his jump test and move to here. And then he is going to, I believe the term is shotgun surgery, this guy in the back. Shotguns How are so all good. all of your attacks go? Four attacks, two plus, four, four damage. Oh this thing is horrifying. Uh, I do, ugh, uh, well, I came out of, well, I didn't come out of ambush this turn. I can't reroll anymore. So it's just gonna be eight damage. So you gotta make a save. You gotta make a save here. Just a four. Just a four. Uh, yep, just so take one. four. Are you wounded, I think? Uh, yeah, she took three. Yeah, so you've so got she's at seven one. now. You took four plus three is seven. You have one left? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Still Overwatch up here? Yeah. Go for it. That's, that's what she's got. Uh, I guess it'll be on fives, though, because of all being, the things. Being wicked injured. And being also, wicked injured and also... Fives. Uh, that's pretty good. Just two crits. Uh, two crits is pretty great. I've, I could die. I could almost die from this, actually. I can't believe I didn't kill you. I get a crit and two saves, though, so I just cancel it all. Yeah. Thing here can see you. So his whole game is... Go take the high ground, Anakin. So move plus dash. We're gonna make our jump roll, try and get up top. We do. So he's gonna make his, it's gonna be four to the straight yeah. line and then four up. Up my oh, nine, right about there. Uh, he'll, sorry, he'll switch to Heidi at the start of the turn because why not? Round two. So I lost one, two, three, four guys this turn. How many did you lose? Uh, I lost four. I lost three. Yeah. That, guy isn't my, that guy's not my kill team. Yeah. Uh, so that means I'm gonna score my, oh, and I'm gonna score my for my all angles because I killed somebody in this table quarter, this table quarter, and this table quarter from, so Heavy Bolter did one, uh, Hunter did one, and that guy, the sniper did one. And that means I'm gonna get one point for, uh, from all angles. You guys also get XP. Round three initiative. I got a four. Nope. It's me this time, okay. Uh, so strategy phase, do I want to do another, I don't think blade ambush is gonna work this turn. Might actually. So I think what I'm going to do is I am gonna spend, I only have one CP this turn. Right, let's go with, it started around, oh sorry, I mean, did you want to do any strategic ploys? Yeah, yeah. I'll... I'm gonna reveal attack up, um, cause I have to go first. It's gonna be gather reconnoiter, uh, gather reconnaissance, sorry. Reveal this attack up at the target reveal step of any turning point. If friendly operative performs the gather reconnaissance action, score a VP. At the end of the battle, if a friendly operative that performed it is hasn't been incapacitated, get a VP. Uh, an operative can perform this action while within re red of their opponent's drop zone and not within engage range of any enemy operatives. So I'm going to start with Captain Shotgun. <laughs> He's going to make a dot, make a move action uh, using his climbing gear, I think to here. Just relocating off. Cause he can end at any distance he wants without doing a jump because of the climbing gear. And then he's going to shotgun. On twos. I'm not using a strategic play this round. Uh, I got three hits, one of which is a crit. All right, I just need to do that crit as and, well. Crit and two successes. Crit and two successes, Ash could do it. Uh, Almost. Oh, CP8. It's worth it. CP8 and you live. Four plus to live. Yeah. Oh, you did. You just take the shotgun like a champion. Okay, so pressing this with the loot yep. action. Yep. Uh, to get that action. And then, that, and then I'm going to charge this fella up here. As you do. Only got two white movement because I'm wounded, but that's okay. Use your Banshee fly ability if you need to get up there. I'm going for some hits. Yeah. We're both wounded, because you both have, so I'm actually on, I'm wounded plus I'm Banshee uh, No, it doesn't, d Banshee Mask d specifically doesn't stack with wounded. Oh, really? So, okay, yeah. sweet. So I'm still so on force. Right. Uh, I got four dice. I also have four dice. With my combat blade. Uh, that's so pretty good. That's, uh, <laughs> that's a miss, so that's just two crits. Okay. I mean. Uh, I think I die. No, I got a crit, but yep. I think you kill me. I will do six damage. You sure do, and I die. Over here with my missile launcher, he's gonna go weapons hot. He's gonna make a dash action over to here, because of course I am. And I'm gonna fire a crack missile at your boss. Yeah, that seems fair. That seems, seems like what he would do. Cover, because I'm gonna ignore cover. 
Um, and I ignore your being concealed because I'm elevated to you. Rock yeah. Missile is th four shots on threes, five, seven damage, AP one. Okay. So, so you get two defense dice and I'm hitting on threes. Oh, one crit for seven damage. Well. Uh, I have a CP, I have to reroll one of these. Uh, if I'd chosen my strategic reroll, I could have rerolled both of those twos. That's okay, so I got a hit and a crit. Okay, so I can retain one. You can't because I have no cover. Oh, okay, so right. I can't retain the, one. Because the ocular implant, I retain, I have no cover. Uh, so I save one. Okay, so you uh, take seven damage. So I take seven damage, okay. And he's gonna charge this feller. Charge my sniper? Yep. Go get him. Engage order. Yeah, I'm going to an engage order. I am going to, oh, isn't there a cool one here? We'll just, do, we'll just do our attack. Just stabs? Just stabs. All right, go get uh, him. So take your two mortal wounds and then. I got eight left. Uh, four attacks on threes. Three attacks on four threes. So three hits. Uh, are they lethal? All right, so, so three, three hits. hits. And I got uh, two hits. And how much damage could that do? Uh, I can do eight, or sorry, three, so they're four each. They're four each? Yeah. So I die no matter what I do yeah. here. Yeah, so I parry one of yours. So I'm gonna do three to you. And then Are I... you gonna parry one of mine? Okay. Yeah, because you only got two hits, right? Yeah, but you go first. If you yeah, decide I to parry first, one of mine, then so... I can live. Sorry? If you parry one of mine, then I'm gonna live. Right, because you've got... So you parry one of mine, then I'm gonna parry one of yours, then you're gonna do one hit to me, and then I'm gonna do one hit to you. Hit me? Yeah. Then you hit me or parry, yeah, it's then you hit me, okay. It'll end up being the same. So yeah. which one would you like to do first? Um, I guess I'll do the damage to you. Okay, so I take three, yeah? Uh, you no, you take four? Uh, five. For my hit? Yeah, they're four or five. So I take four. Yeah, you take four. Okay. Yeah, yeah, critical. <laughs> That's okay. Four. So I take four, then I parry. Then you parry. And then I take I four and I four die, more. so yeah. I'm gonna hit you instead for three. Yeah. And then you're gonna hit me again for four and I'm gonna die. Yeah. And that was your second AP. That was my second AP. And then I use my strike and fade scorpion ability to do a dash, switch to conceal, and be concealed forever. And then push the button. And then press the button. You need to dash the other side to be in cover, otherwise my boss yep, just yep, sees yep, you. Yep. <laughs> push XP. that button for one more, yep. Boss. Yep. Uh, he is going to attempt his jump again, which he hasn't done with a move action. Come on, buddy. Hell yeah, we he do. Made it. <laughs> so that's gonna give him four total movement. So he's gonna end up on top of this. Then he's going to dash over to here. He's gonna get in this quadrant and I'm gonna blast that guy with my bolt pistol. Shots on twos. I uh, hit you four times. Uh, well, she's dead. Uh, <laughs> you can't save four times. You saved pretty good, but I you still take she, she saved all right. six damage. Avenger. Dark Avenger time. Yeah. Okay. Sark and your Dark Avenger left, yeah. yeah. I got nobody left, so it's just you guys going. But I can overwatch still. Andrew? Um, for conceal. Okay, so you're using the ability to, to be concealed forever? Uh, move to here so that he's actually in cover. He's done? He, yeah, he couldn't So he's going to push the button first. Yeah, push the button, move. move, and ultra conceal. Okay. Uh, and have one APL to stand there. and. Isn't he minus one because he's wounded? No. Uh, overwatch now. So I'm just going to feed that guy a crack missile. Force, uh, and I ignore your conceal because I'm elevated, and I ignore your cover because of my ocular implant, so I'm just gonna halo rocket missile you up close. I hit you once. Ooh, I could live. AP Not one, great. right? AP minus one? Uh, AP minus one, yeah, so two dice. He lives! Mr. Dire Avenger, it's your turn. It is Mr. Dire Avenger's turn. Uh, do I go for your boss? I think I go for your boss. So I'm gonna do a move action. Um, Dash then jump. Dash then jump, but then you could pistol me. Well, it would be move with dash in the middle of the jump because you got to spend the APL. But you have three APL to do it, so you yeah, can definitely I got make three it. Yeah, APL. Just gonna make that two plus. Yeah, let's do it. So two plus. No, he stops the end. He stays there. So that ends your move. Means you don't have to use the dash at least. Oh no, you do have to use the dash. I think because you needed it to clear the gap. I don't know how no, that I'm, works. So, so, the, so what I did is I dashed to here, and then I did a move action to jump, but I failed the jump test. Oh, I see what so you're saying. Yeah, yeah. Got it, got it, got it. But I think I can still see somebody. Ends up being the same thing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. you can shoot me for sure. Yeah. All right, we'll shoot you. Yeah, you can't see him because it'd be through this. Yeah. You can see him. Yeah. I don't think you can see him because of the angle. Yeah. Boss, indeed. We'll Am I within one of this 
Barricade, I am, so I have cover. Okay. So I'm going to use my uh, Avenger ability that I can only use on people that are in cover to ignore cover. Sick. Get him. <laughs> Go get him. Shoot him good. Give him the boots. Uh, uh, looks like three hits. Looks like three hits, and I don't have anything to reroll one of them, so three hits it is. Okay, three hits. I get one save, so I take two damage. Take uh, which is six, six damage. Down to two. Forgot to hand an extra AP within this turn, but that's okay. I can now overwatch. No, I'm all done, so. Oh, no, that's right, you are all done. So I can't overwatch. The mighty have fallen. Uh, so how many did you kill this turn? You killed my sniper, and you killed this guy for two. So you're gonna get that fat, you're gonna get two kills. I killed this Banshee, and that's it. Yeah. So I did not I get my have... kill more stuff this round. I did get from my angles though, because I was in this one, this one, and this one when I did damage. Okay. So I'm gonna cap that one. That All right, this looks like it's round four, final turn of the game. Final uh, turn. I'm gonna get a CP, you're gonna get a CP. And it's initiative, let's see who's going first. I got a five. Oh, it's you, sir. Three rounds. Mm -hmm. Play. Nope. I don't. I don't have enough bodies left to do any strategic ploys here. And shoot your sergeant dead. Okay. <laughs> Go for it. He's only got two health left. You could just kill him. He's, he's only got two health left. Yep. And uh, and yeah. So I'm gonna do that. Do I have to use my shoot? Twice with him at the start. Choose to do it or not to do it later on. Yeah. Okay. So He's I will have to shoot me right away. Shoot, I, I will activate him first. And you start I, blasting. I will start blasting. <laughs> okay. <laughs> on paper, this should be the way to do it. Kill me. Paper, this is the way to do it. Uh, all right. Four attacks. Uh, I will use the thing to ignore cover. Sure. Make me roll. Make you roll. You're not injured or anything? I'm not injured or anything. So two hits. I'm gonna use this little Wraithbone token to do a reroll. You have one of those ones. That is... Three hits. Three hits. Okay. Uh, three hits should, should It should get me. If I, get, I get three, four pluses here, I'll live. I got one, two. Do I spend the CP? You will just shoot me again if I do this. But okay. I think I have to anyway. Let's see if we can make it. No, I still die. And your last AP on that guy? My last AP. Oh, sorry, two AP. Two, two AP left. Uh, so I think he's going to do a move action. See if he can't jump up there and maybe even just kill that, or shoot that dude with my AP. Two plus jump. So two plus to jump. Otherwise, his move action is dead. Uh, nope, he fails oh! that jump again. One AP left. Just not feeling it. Uh, one AP left. Uh, he will... I guess dash. It doesn't really matter what he does at this point, does it? Nope. Dash three. Dash. You're still somewhere else. To there. Go stand there. Be pretty. Or my seek and destroy route, because I killed the dude who is within a red of my deployment zone. Amazing. Well, now that my Sarge is dead, I can't score my last tack off because <laughs> I needed that extra AP. I needed him to activate and give me that extra AP, and I really needed you to kill someone on Overwatch now. Um, I don't have any AP to do this with. I just need to kill him, I think. And if I can, you've killed one. I don't think I can kill two this turn, but I have to kill somebody. I'm gonna try and kill your boss. Uh, am I injured on him? No, he hasn't taken any damage yet, so he's just gonna be hitting you on threes with yeah. four dice. Oh, let me let me make sure that this- oh, Invisible until the start of his activation? Yeah. Okay, well, yeah, it's gonna that, have to be this guy. Yeah, so it'll have to be that guy. Well, okay then. I make him dead uh, right. on threes. <laughs> I got two hits. AP one. Two to roll threes. That's not going to do it. That's ten damage. I got I got one reroll left, or I could reroll one, but I failed both. Push this button. I don't have an Overwatch left now. Uh, so I think all I'm going to do is XR push button. Move over here, push button. That's about it. Yep, I can't stop that. And uh, I can't get in range to shoot you anyway, because of my- And then you just ultra conceal again if you want to. Because yeah. you can move, push button, dash back, ultra conceal. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, uh, move action, press the button, dash, back. dash action, super conceal. With your Not that it matters. With my aspect ability. Well, uh, then all I have left is move. So I can move six. It won't get me where I need to be, because I don't get far enough over the line. 
uh, so I cannot perform the action I need to perform, so I'm just gonna push this button. Reveal Headhunter. I think you have to reveal it to score it though, don't you? You reveal it when you kill him. Oh, when I kill him, okay, yeah. yeah. So you're gonna get that one, and but you didn't do it during the first, second, or third. Yeah, so it's only point. worth one. Yeah, And that's game, I think. Uh, so overall, uh, I have managed to score from the primaries a grand total of one, two, three, four, five. Uh, to your seven, eight, nine. Yeah. And then secondaries, you've gotten four and I've gotten three, which means that, because I didn't, oh wait, I killed one, you killed one this round, so I didn't get it this round either. I didn't get uh, Sudden Strike, because you killed the same number of operatives as me. So with three and five is eight, you've gotten a nine and four is 13. It's eight to 13 for the Blades of Cain. Ooh. Taking it home. I know it didn't feel like it for a turn. All like, all like nine wounds of us left. Yeah. That was eight. That was <laughs> eight. <laughs> more wounds than I had left. Yeah. I had 17 total, I think. Uh, and we had a decidedly, it was it was a very killy game. Yeah, so we got to make some, nine, some yeah. survival rolls now. Right, so let's make some survival rolls at the end of all of this. Uh, my Sarge on two plus is okay. Uh, my Heavy Bolter Man, nope, he's okay. Uh, my Hunter is okay. My Sniper is okay. My tracker who got jacked up by your Exarch, also okay. Just and fun. finally this lone scout warrior. Nope, he's got a roll battle scar. So uh, one battle scar, he gets a three. Severe concussion when you dumped him off the rig. <laughs> um, so he's minus one bliss skill as if he's injured. So that means you can't stack it with being injured again over the course of the game, but he can recover. Injury roll, so back to you, what are yours? All right, we'll do uh, dances with heavy bolters. All right, two plus. She's okay. Good. Just left, just, just a flush wound. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we'll do dances with shotguns. Took him a while. She's all right. <laughs> Took him a while to shotgun off all your pieces. Uh, and I don't even remember how this one died. Um, uh, I think that was dance with missile launcher. No, that was one of your aspect warriors. I can't remember who died from missile launcher. Yeah. Uh, oh no, she also got a heavy bolter, I think. Cause there was a heavy bolter that died up here. And, uh, no, that was a scorpion that died that from That was a scorpion, bolter, yeah, yeah. I don't know, we'll see. Um, well, dances with bullets. Uh, oh no, got stabbed by the hunter. Okay, dances with blades, there yeah. we go. Also lived. She's, yeah, also lived. Uh, this guy danced with... Uh, My with, Sarge's pistol, I think. Yeah, yeah, and uh, he was fine with it. Didn't care. All the sixes. Uh, all right, this is uh, dances with crack missiles. Oh yeah. Uh, he's fine. Also good. And this is the heavy the Spirits don't armor, that Wraithbone armor is real powerful. That's good. Yeah, yeah, we did. lived. They did all right. They Five did. plus to remove battle scars, but I can't remove any ones that were taken this game. I'm going to progress in my covert engagement because I got one of my faction tack ops. So I'm going to get plus one to the tally for that. If I get five, I can potentially get some rare equipment. Battle honors yet, although we're close on a few, uh, and we each got a requisition point. So I'm going to go to three, and that ends our campaign game. All right. We did it. We killed all the teams. We, we had two people left on each side. Yeah. Uh, that was about as close as they come for two guys who haven't played Kill Team in a minute. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and those teams are not uncomplicated. No, there's a lot the going things. on with those yeah. teams. Like, that Space Marine team, like, you're, it's weird because you're a 2 AP team that you kind of have to have, like, order of operations to make at least one model of 3 AP team with the sergeant who has to then be able to see the person he's given the extra AP to. There is actually a, um... A battle honor I can get where I don't have to have line of sight to the person I do because he's just learned enough now that he's basically, as long as he activates after the Sarge, he gets the extra AP and I can just take that ability off of him. But oh, that's cool. It's a lot. Like, it's a lot to remember. And then same with yours. Although you had, I, I think if, if this hadn't come with the cards for all of your abilities. Yeah. This would be way harder for you to actually like sink your teeth into. The cards make it so much easier. They, they do. I need to like figure out my dashboard setup there, but just to be able to, yeah, kind of flip through them and reference them and like, I think there's a thing for this. Yeah. And if you were playing like a mono aspect too, yeah, that would make it way easier because it would just take two thirds of them away. Yeah. You wouldn't have to worry about them. Yeah. If I was just thinking about the scorpions and like. Which most people out of that box will be because they'll just have a 10 man scorpion team. Yeah. That they're running eight models from. Twelve if they uh, have some extra <gasps> legs left. I was around. missing a model, I just realized. Were you? I only deployed eight guys. I only deployed eight guys. I'm pretty sure I only deployed eight guys. I think I had two people I was missing. Unless you killed an extra guy. I think I I think I counted out eight. And I should have had nine. Because mine's a Sarge plus eight. And yours is Exarch plus seven. Yeah. And you had eight guys down. And I was like, we have the same number of people. <laughs> I just oh. stopped, I think. Well, he lived. 
Interesting. I don't think it would have changed anything because the only people I had left, I had a bolter guy left, which would probably change. I think because our next game, I'll definitely take an extra bolter guy because yeah. I'm realizing I should have probably put the bolter on my sergeant. I just didn't because of like aesthetics and tradition. Yeah. But he never wants to be up close to almost anybody. He just wants to be able to shoot at range. Yeah. Because I have a lot of guys who can brawl and a lot of guys who are locked into like that six inch range. Like that shotgun is horrifying. Yeah. I didn't get very good dice with it, but that shotgun is mental. Yeah. Four shots, two plus, four, four damage. <laughs> it just yeah. shreds things up close. It's it's funny because my, my target priority is hard. Like... The missile long launcher long. I was terrified of, but like, it's probably going to evaporate somebody, mm -hmm. but so is everything. Like, I mean, I had, never did. I had very few mi miniatures that were ever just had some damage on them. It Having three AP, being able to dead. like move dash, yeah. like or move shoot dash back into cover. That's so good for Eldar. Yeah. That really does make you feel fleet of foot. I yeah. think that more than anything is like the biggest quality of life improvement for the Eldar kill team is they feel like they can do that like dip out, shoot, dip back yeah, thing now, yeah. which I think is a huge they, deal. They feel like Eldar. They do feel like Eldar, yeah. Which, which is, is what they should feel like the yeah, whole time. Weird. They felt really glassy before. And then having those Exarch or those uh, aspect abilities where like you could have one guy double shoot or you could have that like, that strike and fade ability is really good. Yeah. Where you go back, you kill somebody and then you go back into... Concealed. Concealed. Yeah, just disappear. And you're so good at killing like eight to 10 win models. Yeah. Because you have so much like, you just instantly do two. Because yeah. you targeted me, because you're Manda Blasters, and then you... Because that's that's one of the Scorpion aspect of Yeah, that's right? the Scorpion. Yeah, that's really, they, really they, good. They do the two, and then they... Yeah. The uh, the Banshees are the one that I have a little bit less... Like, the flying was great the one time that I did that with, with the Banshee. Mm -hmm. Other than that, I'm not sure entirely what their role is I think they're button scorpions. pushers. I think they just keep moving and pushing buttons. Yeah. Like, honestly, like, they feel like they're the acrobats that go move and push buttons. They probably didn't shine as much against Marines... Because making a three plus hit on a four isn't the same as making a four hit on a five. Yeah. Like I feel like they would brutalize guard or they, cops. They, yeah. Or they're like the boarding team where like they hit on fours normally in melee. So all of a sudden you just you're just paralyzed yeah, basically fair. when you fight. That's fair. Yeah, I think I think they're neat. I gotta put a little bit more thought into into how they work and the dire avengers did exactly what it says on the tin. Yeah. I like them. I think I think that one aspect ability is so powerful for you where you can strike and fade because it keeps your Exarch alive. Yeah. Like your Exarch's a perfect candidate for a bunch of those like seek and destroy missions like the one you did, which is which was the 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 kill a trophy guy. Yeah. Because you never really are at a cover and then you pair him up with another one who does like the ultra hiding yeah. and can like bait out and attack things too. Yeah. You have a really good like hunting pack with that guy and yeah. it just keeps him He's really cool. hard to kill. The smoke grenade too, actually. That was another one that where was, that was a big save for him. He would have died otherwise. Oh like, yeah, there was for no sure way he, he would have died that turn for sure. Yeah, so I would have had three rounds of shooting with my missile launcher at him if he hadn't done that smoke grenade. Yeah, and it being infinite height is like a huge deal. Yeah, it was interesting. No, I really enjoyed both teams. I do feel like for us getting back into kill team, we've chose to do it like hard mode way. <laughs> but I am really glad that you already had like the other two parts of the aspect warrior teams so to yeah. show the whole thing off. They're so neat. Yeah, because I feel like while it would have been interesting. With just all the the striking scorpions that came in that box, it was way more interesting seeing that blended overall team. Yeah. And what's weird now is the Marine Scout team. They kind of get to do what the Intercessors and the Phobos team do, where they get multiple different loadouts because the one Scout can have like a bolter or a shotgun or close combat weapons or like the specialists. But it's you can never be a Marine. You know what I yeah. mean? Like I, I never get to have like a, a Phobos guy mixed in there. They never get to like grow up and see them grow up. They just go and join other kill teams. <laughs> so it's not, I don't know. It doesn't feel as blended. You can't mix stuff in with the scouts. It would be cool to be able to have like a scout in another team somehow. If they had some ability to like poach scouts and other teams, but so far, I don't know. I like them. I think they're neat. I think they're different. I like there's one Marine yeah. and he's old and he's trying to teach them all like how to live through it all. And you yeah. can kind of level the rest of them up. Yeah. But I don't know. We'll have to play some more games. So we'll be back yeah. uh, in two weeks with our next one. Thanks for painting up those uh, those scorpions. Yeah. And we'll we'll see you for the next one. Uh, yeah, on a Wednesday coming up.